the Technical University Teachers Association of Ghana, that's TUTAG, has called off its strike. Now, the association took the decision after a meeting of the National Labor Commission after government agreed to pay the allowances and privileges by December. The meeting between the feuding parties spanned for more than three hours. Deliberations centered on upgrading packages of technical university lecturers to public universities. The aggrieved lecturers were demanding allowances for electricity, rent, car maintenance and off-campus settlement. After the deliberations, the National Labor Commission agreed with government to pay their package by December. Minister of State in charge of tertiary, Professor Kwesi Yanka, is confident their demands will be duly granted. We are coming very, very far in agreeing to certain fundamental issues, including allowances that were not originally um, being paid to, to TAC members, but that had been brought on board. The only aspect of the allowances that was hanging at the time had to do with, I think, entertainment allowance and responsibility allowance that certain key officials of universities were entitled to, um, that's deans and heads of department, hall masters, and so on. This has compelled the disgruntled technical university lecturers to call off their strike. Dr. Solomon Kielsen is the president of the association. There's industrial access 51, which says that strike should be suspended. It just mentions call off. Are you calling off? No, you say what? There's no position in the law we talks about suspension of strike. There is no word position. We are not talking law. We are talking about the fact that we will suspend the strike. We will go back to the classroom after consulting our constituency soon. Nothing juicy. What is due us is what has been pronounced. And so if you say something juicy, I don't know whether you mean something extra or something. Uh, what, what we demanded is what the ruling has also talked about. And so it is just what is due us. Deputy Minister of Employment and Labor Relations, Bright Rekubobi, expressed government's commitment to avert future occurrences of industrial unrest. Yes. Government is going to ensure that the payments are done. And so we gave ourselves up to December. The ruling said December. So hopefully uh, their salaries will reflect with all these allowances in December. We are very hopeful. We are very hopeful. We go by the We respect the ruling. Once that is done, uh, it might not even be necessary for serious engagements again. However, Deputy Chairman of the National Labor Commission, Rose Kakarianang, warned parties to comply with its directive. Are we likely to see the Commission going to court to enforce its ruling? We have not reached there. When we get there, we will cross the bridge. We are talking about December for payment and calling of the strike immediately. When there's any you know, mishap as to the implementation of the ruling, when we get there, we will cross the bridge. The letters are expected to resume academic work by Tuesday, October 29.